not even. This part is some pushing now. I don't want to. And one more. No. Two more. Like it's turning. You guys saw my beautiful outfit as well as me peeling all this stuff so you guys know what to do for the beginning of this and this is what you're left with plus we have some spices some onions some pretty much everything I'll explain everything in detail once we get along once we get going on this but first we're gonna be processing these eggplants and this is not the best measurement, but this is about, for every four pounds of eggplants that you guys use, use three pounds of peppers because it's better to have more eggplant than there is to have more peppers. And if you like it spicy, you can use whatever kind. But I'm going to be using all of these eggplants like that. And then I'm going to use the juice in there too because it adds flavor, of course. Let's do that. And then I'll add a few other things to this mixture. Let's see. No, I think this food processor is going to have a hard time if I put too much stuff in there. So I'll just leave it like this for now. And I'll show you guys what to do. If it turns on. Let's see. <laughs> okay. I'm almost kind enough to bring me some garlic paste. I'm gonna add just a little bit because this is just pure garlic. It's gonna taste really good. That. We'll add the spices into this mixture because I'm gonna be doing a one pot version of this. Usually you'll do the saute and then you'll do the eggplant and pepper and then you'll add the spices but this is just a quicker easier version and it gives you the same result so why not. So this is a little bit of cayenne. I don't want it to be too spicy. I'm like that. We've got some cumin. I'll just tell you everything. We've got cumin, cayenne, turmeric, curry, coriander, some paprika, salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna add a little bit of each of those things to this. being killed by mosquitoes. <laughs> okay, so I'm emptying out some of the space in here so I can add the peppers. So let's do that. Careful. Come on. Hey, when you have to like redo the the needle, what is this called again? The mixer part, yeah. It's the most annoying part when you have to the get blade? it back in there. Yeah, the blade, the blade. So I'm gonna add these peppers in there. And to this, I'm gonna add the parsley and cilantro. And some red pepper paste and some of this salsa. This is about one fourth cup and this is about two tablespoons. But you can do whatever you want those and then I'll get the saute going these little babies we found inside of the pepper no in they go and they go in the blender this goes in as well as this and then I'll add the cilantro later 
they're playing right now. <laughs> Goodbye. Done. This is kind of what you want the texture to be like. Kind of, not like salsa, but it looks like ikra, you know? It's just the consistency for bread and stuff. But anyways, I need to switch this out because I'm going to start my saute. Yes. That goes down here. What are you guys playing? <laughs> what are they playing? Mm -hmm. I think they're playing floor hockey because he keeps saying score, but I don't. He was playing Same. baseball like two minutes ago. Let's see. This goes here. And then we'll start this. I already have my onion made, just like this. I'm just going to use a little bit of that and this olive oil. We're going to use just a bit enough olive oil to saute this, and then we're going to add olive oil after it's all over because this needs olive oil at the end. That's the taste that you need. I need to come over here where Dulcina is. Is this on? I think so, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. The light's on. I'll just hope it's on. Let's see, just a little bit. Just enough for the saute. We'll let this heat up though. While that's happening, I'm gonna organize a little bit. Did you break your hockey stick? Yeah. Can I see? It literally snapped. Oh, mm. you guys are playing floor hockey then, huh? Yes. Mm. Mm. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Use Gorilla Glue, the power of God. You have super glue. You have super glue? Can we use plaster for it? Plaster? No, What's I don't plaster? think plaster. So. We'll just break again. But we can use. We can attach it back with hockey tape. I mean, yeah, that works yeah, too. That works. You guys need to play that on a carpet. They're probably playing on the concrete. That's they are playing I on a carpet. Car carpet. Carpet? Yeah, I did play on carpet. Oh. Well, I don't know what to say to that now. <laughs> we do have super glue. We'll use that. Okay. We use super glue and the like, hockey tape. I'll okay, it's heating up now. Okay, I made sure to test it with a little bit of pieces to make sure it was working. So now I'm just gonna use like a teaspoon and then we're gonna let that saute and then we're gonna add this wonderful two-part mixture to it just put it all together in a groove evenly it seems to like this side so i'm gonna leave it over here <laughs> Okay, see how the onions aren't completely, not burnt, but they're not that caramel color. That's kind of what you want because you just want the onion flavor. I'm just going to be adding all of this to that. And we're going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes because everything's already cooked. You saw that we cooked these over the barbecue grill. I almost said the barbecue oven. But we let them grill. So everything is pretty much cooked, but just for ourselves, we're going to let this marinate together do that and I put this on low by the way my master taste tester came by because I always have to ask mom for advice this is a mom dish you know because like everything I'm doing is like I'm like the, my mom's generation like I'm, I'm gonna teach <laughs> you guys how to do this that wasn't the right way to put it but you guys understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, she's right. She's my generation. That's it. <laughs> she said it already. I'm just going to mix. She said a little bit more paprika and, of course, more salt. Because I've been adding salt every now and then. And, of course, bay leaves. I'm just going to count them to see how many. One, two, three, four. Just so I don't lose count. <laughs> you don't have to count them. You just drop them in there. But without counting. It's like how in Borscht when you get the surprise bay leaf. <laughs> and you accidentally and eat it sometimes? <laughs> no, you don't. It's too hard to, like, even bite. <laughs> but she likes it, so she eats it. Yeah, I <laughs> love eating bay leaves. 
I'm just gonna mix this for a little bit longer and it's pretty much done already. So. Hey, did you eat red, uh, add red pepper paste? Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> they saw too. <laughs> and then you drizzle with this oil as soon as it cooks down. You guys know that too, right? <laughs> I already told them. Because <laughs> uh, this caviar loves olive oil. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like the best friend of olive oil. I know whenever mom puts the olive oil on top, it's just like, you know, it's done. You're just excited to go grab the bread and eat it. A bit more salt and that's mm -hmm. it. Thank you, mom. Why is this asking so much salt? I don't know. I keep trying it in between like takes and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, in between mixing it. That's the salt just wants more less. salt, which I don't mind. The rest is good. Yeah. It's really good. good. So now I don't have to do a taste test for you guys because you know it's good. <laughs> I will with my mom's bread. This is ready, so I'm gonna just turn this off. And then we're gonna add our olive oil. My mom always adds it in a circle. But it doesn't matter. Obviously, it doesn't matter where you put the olive oil in. I don't know. This is about two tablespoons. Just as much as you'd like. It, it likes a lot of olive oil, though, as my mom said. Add that and then we'll just let this sit for a little bit and then we'll do our taste test. This is our final product. Let's take a look. Come closer for a look. This is our look. And this is a little dinner dinner setup that I set up for me and my mom who's over there anxiously awaiting. <laughs> Let me get some of this. Here's yours. Oh, thank you so much. It smells so good. Oh no, this is our cooled off just a little bit. But I like it hot and cool Doesn't and whatever. Matter. I love this ikra. Mm. So finely. Mm -hmm. They kept wanting Amazing. salt, but at the end it's just it's really good. You know, everything's perfect. Because we add it so. Mm -hmm. It's just like at the end you're like, okay, good. I don't need to add any more salt. This is so good. Even better than mine. I said it. That's it. Really? I'll take this to Papa. Okay, go take that to Papa and I'm gonna put this down thank for just you. a second. Yeah. Thank you. And of course, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to make this because if my mom said it's better than hers, I'm obviously like, it's an honor. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's, it's good that this recipe was good enough for Herine, you know, my mom. Which is the best honor in the world. But anyways, hope you make this and I hope you like this video. Don't... <laughs> He's waiting <laughs> He's waiting for an opossum. <laughs> okay, well you wait for your opossum. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye! The Thanks. possum will watch your video! The possum is going to watch my video? Mm -hmm. He likes him. He thinks he's so cute. <laughs> it's super delicious. Okay, good. I'll finish mine. Yes, you should try this. It's really good. <laughs>